I feel this is someone who's been inconsistent and unreliable. They've been flaky with you. I feel someone was scared to open up and see the truth. Especially when it comes to you. Yet I sense through desperation or being vulnerable, someone is seeing something differently. I sense someone is seeing something differently when it comes to your energy and they're completely annoyed about what they took you through. Someone knows that what they did, what they said, was uncalled for, especially after ghosting you, treating, like, treating you like you never existed, or treating you in a way that showed no respect. I feel this is someone who was in denial. This is someone who was in denial about disappearing on you. Because this is someone who was refusing to accept something. Hmm. So I feel this is someone who was in denial about a sneaky link. And they pretended like they were doing fine. Yet they're clearly concerned. Because they're not healing from something. Something that has them completely broken. I feel this is someone who was not paying attention as long as they were getting what they thought that they wanted. Yet the path that they have chose only brought them pain. I feel this is someone who is tired of pretending. Someone already knows that you see straight through them. Yet this energy needs time to themselves to truly open up. Someone needs time to themselves. They feel lonely, but someone is seeing something differently when it comes to those they surrounded themselves with. I feel someone is seeing something different when it comes to being misled or the deceit. Creating a false impression. Because they now realize trying to work something out only put them in a very toxic headspace. I feel this is someone who is in a very dark headspace for holding on to something they should have let go. But I feel their childish behaviors or trying to prove something to you took them down this path. I feel this is someone who made a lot of assumptions. Very irresponsible choices here. Where they truly didn't give a fuck. This is someone who could care less because they thought that they were winning. They thought that they were getting what they wanted, but they lost what they needed. I feel this is someone who purposely put you in this energy. Tried to trigger you. Tried to get you to react to something. And now they're sitting in a deep space about it. A very dark head space. Where someone knows they were heartless with you. And you didn't deserve it. This is someone who has a lot of hurt emotions or feelings when dealing with this situation. They think about it often. In fact, this is someone who is thinking about what they should have did instead of what they did instead. Because it only caused you to have a change of heart or deny them access to you in the end. Now someone is sitting in deep regret for testing the limits and testing the boundaries. Because this energy is stressed out. This energy stretched, stressed out because they know what they did was unforgivable. But I feel they took this for granted. Someone took this route because they felt like the bond would never end. It was unbreakable. But I feel this energy is waking up with you on their mind, on their heart. Because they know they can't just move on. In so many ways, I sense this energy never truly wanted to leave. They never really wanted to let go, but I feel this is someone who never took the steps to maintain the connection. And this is why they're truly stressed out, because they know they didn't give a fuck. They know that they were irresponsible, but they thought that you would always be there. Now they're trying to release the past. Learn to love or open up again. <sighs> someone is now realizing they should have never turned their back so you could react. But this is also attached to their childish behaviors or just making assumptions so that they can make these choices against you. Because for many of you, I sense this energy caused issues or problems just to have a reason to do what they do. This is why they tested the limits and now things are a mess. I feel like this is someone who is heartless when it comes to their deceit and this is why they're sitting in a space of needing to open up. But I also feel they're wanting you to open up as well because they're completely annoyed 
by the silence. You know, this energy never wanted to let go, they never wanted to leave, but I feel this is someone who took some very dangerous steps in the wrong direction. This is someone who did some things they can't take back, as well as said some things that many of you probably will never forget. Yet I sense them missing you is definitely starting to get to them. This is someone who is very heartless and in denial, especially about a third party or a false environment, because they were doing what they wanted to do, doing things they felt completed them, someone put themselves in a complete nightmare. I feel this is someone who is waiting on you in so many ways, and they're struggling to hold on to what was had before. They're looking at what they have versus what they had, and they're not happy about disappointing you, upsetting you, being a letdown. This is someone who's trying to recover from something, whether that is addictions, weaknesses, or just not having any boundaries, but they're feeling lonely and emotionally drained, mentally, physically. This energy feels like they need to ease the pain. Someone definitely wants to come out of this dark space because the cat's out of the bag. Everyone knows that they would rather be with you, but I feel this is someone who needs to do a lot of work before they complete that task. In so many ways, this energy feels like they need to contact you to heal, or this energy, there's just a lot of misery here, because they're struggling. This energy is struggling to hold on, struggling to keep their thoughts together, and even their mental stability, as it seems this energy is very exhausted. They're exhausted, angry, frustrated, and feeling defeated because they feel like a clown. For many of you, I feel like you warned them not to do this or you warned them someone was going to play them. And they didn't even set any boundaries for this not to even happen. And this is why they're feeling depleted and defeated. I feel this is someone who needs to heal, but they're completely triggered. But I feel they're starting to get into a space where they're not caring anymore. They don't care about others judging them. But I feel them holding back or feeling like something would never change. It's just driving them crazy. They could be just losing it, flipping out behind closed doors. I feel this is someone who is not wanting to express how they truly feel to others. They're afraid. They're ashamed. And they know they need to let something go. This is someone who is having visions of the past. And now, they regret wanting to stand alone. This is someone who feels like you don't understand or you will never understand their tears. They know that you are disgusted with their behavior and this false reality or appearance that they're trying to put forth. But this energy could be stalking, watching, seeing you in so many lights that they didn't see before, but I feel you have always been patient, even tolerable when it comes to compromising with this energy. You're just wanting them to put in the true effort. This energy sees you as joy, desirable, someone they truly want to be with. But they feel like they've made so many wrong turns with you that it's going to be hard to get it right. Because they know they're stuck on you. This energy knows that they are stuck on you. They think about you often, but they feel like you are now seeing your worth and you're not really wanting to deal with them anymore. This energy is wanting to put the past behind them and they're starting not to care about those who are critical of their behaviors and the, or their faults. This energy knows they look like a clown and it seems to be driving them tr crazy as they're very frustrated and annoyed that there's no healing or recovery. This energy feels like they need to get to you to make things right, to clear their mind, and lighten the load. But I feel they're being distracted in some type of way, even though the cat is already out of the bag. Let's get into a little bit more energy here. Clarification. Thanks for thank you. Someone regrets trying to string something along, but I feel this energy was stringing something along because they never thought that you would let go. Many of you have yet to let go, but this energy needs to put more of an effort into a situation if they expect you to invest. Someone feels like what they had with you was faded. They were growing. They were learning. 
but I feel this energy ran from you because they were afraid of losing what they thought they had or being different. This energy was definitely in some type of illusion when they hurt you because as I said before, this is someone who didn't want to leave. This is someone who didn't want to let go, but I feel due to some type of illusion, they played a game that they now realize they are not winning. This is someone who was in battle with you. I see the two of you are not seeing eye to eye. This energy wanted to be free. Yet now they're wanting to, to be free of these toxic cycles. There's repeating patterns when it comes to the confusion, make believe, someone wanting attention because this energy wasn't listening. So I feel in many ways, many of you spoke your mind when dealing with this energy, but they really don't like to listen. This is someone who likes to learn things the hard way because they never give in to the right direction. Someone wanted attention and they played a game of make make believe causing a lot of confusion now they don't know which way to go i feel there's a lot of cycles being repeated and there is a lot of obstacles along the way as this energy is definitely struggling through challenges as well as drama and chaos these are expect unexpected situations that they were not expecting to deal with and they're really struggling. Someone is definitely in a space where they're dealing with unfamiliar things. This is what's causing the struggle and the chaos they created. Someone definitely sees you as a soulmate, but they feel locked out. But I feel someone is locked out for their sense of entitlement and disrespect because someone was not giving in to tradition and values. Now, it seems like they're lovesick energy is sheltered off needing to open up grow up and they need to speak up before something is set in stone because when it comes to their world things are definitely falling apart i feel time is slipping and someone is needing to turn over a new leaf but i feel this is someone who feels like they need you in the worst way this is someone who feels like they need a fresh start they are wanting to make some type of offer to you but i feel things are moving at a snail's pace this is someone who can be very stubborn, yet they're wanting to come out of that energy and clean something up with you because they think about you often and all it seems they're left with is just memories. This is someone who is stuck with the memories of the past, whether it's bad or good, but someone is trying to stay in the energy of the happier moments, but there's a lot of gossip, drama, negativity surrounding them. It's especially negative or petty energy where someone is going through a lot. There's a lot of fireworks. There's a lot of competition as well as arguments. And they're trying to struggle through it, but trust me, they're doing more struggling than getting through it. I feel there's a lot of things going on in their life that they're needing to speak up about. I feel the last conversation was not so well. Someone was definitely pointing fingers and still upset with you. But I feel that energy of them being hateful or petty is starting to wear thin. And they know it. Because this energy knows you were the perfect match. The yin to their yang. Someone knows that they were complete with you. Yet in so many ways it's hard to see or understand what they truly feel because they're always making the wrong turn with you. They're always taking things to another level. This is someone who feels incomplete, not really knowing how to shape up or clean this up. But I feel they're also wanting to let go of their stubborn ways, being a brick wall. Someone wants to reach out. I feel this is someone who has a robotic heart and they're wanting to surprise you with something and make amends. Something is about to be clear. Something is about to be revealed. Someone's about to reveal something when it comes to how they treated you, how things fell apart, and why they chose to make these decisions. However, I do feel there will be more questions and answers. Someone doesn't really have the answers to give you, but someone's going to try. Someone feels like it's now or never. I feel like this is someone who wants to grow. Yet, wherever they are right now, they're not growing and they're not healing. There's just a lot of obstacles, challenges, and struggles. This is someone who wants to grow and find some type of balance, and they're trying to take the steps to do so, but someone needs to detox, a spiritual cleanse. Someone needs to purge 
the energies around them. I feel this is someone who needs to purge to heal. Someone knows they need to spend some quality time. They're reflecting on what they invested in and they're starting to see there's not a lot of options. Someone knows how good they had it with you and they're reflecting on their choices, what they invested in, because it's only a space where they feel like they created some type of nightmare with the karmic, a third party, or some type of connection. Someone is wanting to communicate. I sense someone is wanting to communicate and finally bring clarity to a situation that was left to mystery. And someone is wanting to be clear about someone who was involved. Someone needs to talk to you about something that is very delicate, sensitive, and they know that you're not going to be happy about what you hear. Someone needs to step into this energy without being superficial or sugarcoating things. I feel you're going to respect the truth instead of the lies. No matter how harsh it is, they need to communicate it and speak up about it. I feel to speak up about it, this is the only way they'll have the opportunity for you to want to hear them out or even open up. Yet, until this energy really steps into that energy of doing better to be better, they will always feel alone. This is someone who is going through some rainy days and someone's trying to get through it. They're not happy. We want to send a message or do something that will put a smile on your face. They want to repair this, build this back up. They want to reconcile because they know that you are a gem. One of a kind. Someone who should be put on a pedestal. Someone knows that you see them as a sour patch. Or someone who can't be trusted or someone who is sometimes sweet and sometimes sour. Someone wants to come out of this energy of being hot and cold with you to finally show you a sense of loyalty. I feel this energy now wants to show up for you. Show you that there is a different side to them. Yet many of you feel like they just have a robotic heart and they may have an agenda to this. Someone's going to have to show up, show up with more than just talk. Someone's going to have to walk it. Hmm. Someone's regretting the fact that they were being sneaky. Gave you bad news. No respect. Because their head was in the clouds. With this robotic heart. Empty feelings of someone who is just doing something in routine. For some of you, this is someone who did some things they thought was expected of them. This is how they were led, led astray by false realities of friends and even karmic energies who was only gassing them up. Now they're in this mess and there's no one to help them out of it. Yet this energy thinks of you often because they know that you would have never left them in this mess. Someone knows that they need to come out of this pain and struggle of tragedy, misery, and transform to ever reconnect with you again. Someone knows being with you brings abundance. But I feel you could be tuning into self-love. Mm. You needed a vacation from this. I feel you could be tapping into some bigger and better things here. While someone is coming out as a nibbling mice. This energy wants to come back with more than what they left. But I feel this energy doesn't have a lot to offer. Yet this energy also knows they can't get what they want without healing from the past. Because without sheer determination and focus, this energy will always be left in this misery, feeling alone and regretting their choices. Someone definitely needs to come out of this stubborn space to unra unravel something. I feel the truth is being exposed in so many ways and someone is wanting to reach out and heal with you. For many of you, this is someone who knows they need to speak the truth because you're going to see through the lies and they know if they continue to lie, you're just going to put up a wall. <clears throat> someone wants the okay from you. Someone wants you to say yes. Someone wants to be back in your life, and it's in a big way. Yet I sense they may be scared or looking for some type of sign because they don't know how you're going to react to them, especially if they just pop up. This is someone who is in a mood. They know they was throwing shade at you. Someone knows that they were being savage when you're truly blessed. Someone knows that you were a blessing in their life. And they're low-key wanting to reach out to you. This is why they're in a mood. You're possibly a topic of discussion around them. It's hard to hear your name without trying to 
feel the pain that they once put you through. I feel the same pain that they gave to you is the same energy they're feeling now. Someone knows that you didn't deserve the disrespect. You are a blessing in their life. And now they're low-key hating on their actions or hating those around them because they feel like many of those who are watching just watch them fall from grace. There was no clear advice. And someone is now seeing you were only trying to tell them the truth. This energy is in a mood. In fact, it seems like they're all in their feelings. There's a lot of heartbreak because they know that the, vi the vibe has changed. I feel this is some who someone who regrets putting you on blast or saying some things that they, they can't take back. But I feel the vibe changed with this energy because this energy just was too inconsistent. Low-key about what they were really feeling and very ruthless when dealing with you. Yet I only feel it only caused you to gain a tough skin when dealing with this energy but for many of you you're not through someone is definitely in a mood knowing that they could have just kept it real with you instead of trying to break from you but this energy was too busy following others and getting real loud about something that was all cap all lies old face lies this energy was being extra because they're not woke this is someone who is thirsty for attention and this is why the vibe changed. They were, they were following instead of leading because they had a fear of missing out. I feel this is someone who didn't speak up for self because they didn't want others to stray. This is someone who is looking for attention in the worst way, whether that is from you or those they don't even know. But I feel this is someone who was just trying to make themselves look better in a, in a situation where they're now struggling and trust me the struggle is real synergy is bored and going through routine and nothing is changing especially when it comes to a false environment influences or squad i feel they're starting to see something that they didn't see before and they're starting to regret the fact that they were being shady with you just to fit in or just to have some type of position in another situation I feel like there is a lot going on here where people are sipping the tea and spilling the tea. There's a lot of talk circulating up around your energy as well as theirs. And someone's not wanting to seem weak or bothered by your absence when they're clearly, they're clearly sit sitting in a space where they're affected. Someone knows they should have just kept it real with you in instead of taking a different direction abruptly because now they feel like they're canceled. And they're very salty about it. Someone's upset about how they tried to finesse you. Someone's trying to do something in a slick way. Now they feel like they need to come back in and persuade you. Yet, they feel like you have too many receipts. This is another reason why I'm saying this energy needs to come in with clarity. Be clarity because there's a lot of things that you're not speaking of that you do know about and just getting that wrong it's going to cause something to flatline for many of you you're not listening you're not wanting to hear what they have to say because it's the same thing different day because this energy is always trying to finesse you you're not wanting to be invested in the things that they say but for many for others i definitely feel this energy is coming in with the truth and if they don't it's just going to be the biggest regret there could be a side hustle here they're trying to invest in because as I said before, this is someone who wants to make an offer but has very little to offer. But I feel whatever you're stepping into will be a humble brag. This is someone who always leaves you shaking your head. But I feel in so many ways whatever you did in response to their lies and deceit was well played. Now someone is all in their feelings about gaslighting you because they could have just kept it simple. Yet I sense this energy was trying to get attention or go viral. Now they're completely shocked that something is working out for you. Someone definitely knows that you are a very spiritual person or you're enlightened. You made a lot of move to, moves to change your perspective about this situation because I definitely feel you had a lot of hope in them. It just might not be there anymore. I feel you had to take a stand in the situation when someone pushed you away. Someone made you feel differently about them and now they're feeling counseled because of it someone feels like you don't even want to look their way 
you know, only since it's their shame, embarrassment, and even their guilt that's starting to get to them because they're definitely in a mood. This is someone who is struggling through some harsh obstacles and everyone is talking about it. Now they regret having the feeling of missing out or wanting more because everything they needed was with you. Now they see that. Now they see the truth in what you were offering, what you were giving, because they definitely didn't give it in return. And even though they have yet to heal, they're hoping you allow them back in your space. Let's get some more energy here. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the reading, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. So in so many ways, I definitely feel like this is someone who broke your heart or disappointed you as it seems now, wanting to come back and heal with you. But this energy is really going through it. As it seems, this energy is really struggling through some obstacles as the Most High has dealt with them on a serious level. And they, they know they see things differently now. Now that things have changed, something has backfired or the roles have been reversed. And now they see the choices they made only ended up hurting the wrong person. I feel someone regrets lying making these choices from a very petty or hurt space because they only ended up hurting themselves because they couldn't change, level up, or transform. Because time is ticking. I feel this energy is unavailable, possibly distracted. They're keeping busy, trying to make something happen in their life. As it seems, this energy has wasted a lot of time in the wrong direction, and they know that. This is someone who's trying to do the shadow work themselves, but it's just not, it's not going anywhere. There's a lot of trauma here, and this is why this energy feels like they need someone wise or strong enough to deal with them. This is why they think about you often. They want you to be here with them. They want you present in their life. This is why they want to show you love, send a message, pop up, do something to surprise you, because they regret breaking your heart. I feel there's a lot of pain here, yet I also feel there's a lot of love, yet this energy was blinded when they locked you out, when they were unavailable and betrayed you. This is someone who has a lot of things going on in the background. There's some cat bikes here, there's arguments, tension, karmic interferences. There's a lot going on that they're not used to and they're starting to think about the future. If, if it'll always be this way, Will things change and they know time is ticking and they have to come out of the state of denial as well as depression. I feel they're being guided to awaken out of this darkness because nothing can grow in the dark and this energy is wallowing in a very dark space of sadness, grief, loss, and regret. This energy is in solitude, feeling lonely, yet they're also withdrawn, not wanting to be around others because they're submerged, immersed in a very emotional space. These are unfamiliar feelings that this energy is dealing with. They're trying to make it make sense. This energy is trying to put their thoughts together, but their mind is still wonders. This energy feels defeated after some type of rupture, separation, conflict. Uh, and they're just wanting to go with the flow. They just want to release. They want to accept what has happened and grow from it. Yet they don't know how. They really, they're seriously clueless on how to bring the energy that is needed. But they know they're running out of time. And they need to do something. Someone just wants to go with the flow. They want your support. They want your love. Someone sees you as a spiritual connection, a soul tribe. They want to show you gratitude. They want to appreciate your energy and they're just hoping that you're open to receive. Yet I sense this is someone who is definitely at a crossroad and they're trying to climb their way out of this. But these decisions and choices have left them in a very murky situation where they're not really knowing how to make this right. 
But if they know, they gotta make this up to you. Someone knows they need to make this up to you, but these hurdles, these upheavals, these battles and challenges that they're going through, they feel like it keeps them stuck and bound, stagnated. They feel like they have nowhere else to go because they are deeply submerged, overwhelmed, weighed down by a facade, a masquerade. Someone's tired of wearing this mask. They need to heal something that they're concealing or hiding. Someone wants to come out of this dark illusion. Someone knows they need to cleanse their energy and they're on high alert when it comes to a false twin flame. So this lets me know that they thought that someone else was more valuable or respected and they gave into something that was very toxic. This is a trauma bond that has only caught, caused them to learn some valuable lessons. These are lessons that were meant to happen so this energy could learn from their mistakes and in so many ways they are. They're learning some things in a very big way, as I said before, the Most High has definitely put them in a position where they're learning something on a very serious level. Yet I sense they're very cautious, still not knowing what to do with a third party. There's a lot of, um, it's like a high warning. Someone needs to move and move quickly from gossip, rumors, jealousy, something that used to have them very enchanted they are now seeing is poisonous and toxic. Someone definitely sees the truth in a situation. They're just not clear on how to work through it or get out of it. And they're not wanting to tiptoe around something that is clearly dangerous to them. They're around a dark energy here. This energy is a false twin flame. Someone that they thought had their back played a game only ended up being their biggest lesson that they're no longer wanting to be tied stuck or bound to this is someone who definitely want to make things right with you they don't want to be stuck they don't want to be bound but it's this is a far climb a hard climb where there are obstacles and things that they're not familiar with and yet they're at a crossroads and they're tired of tiptoeing around the truth or tiptoeing around a false twin flame someone who is dark and keeping them lost and toxic because now it seems things are wilted. They're tired of the fake smiles. They need time to themselves to have some strength and they're trying to find their way. They're, they're knowing that they're, the innocence is gone. They're wounded and they're looking for something to be ended, complete. Someone's trying to find their way out of this. Hmm. And it seems now this is someone who's definitely wanting to make something clear. Someone's wanting to tell the truth of what really happened. As it seems they're preparing to leave a very sticky situation to finally make things right and clear up some things from the past, as well as the present. Someone's definitely trying to use their instincts and their intuition because they know what they had with you was forever. And they're trying to get their composure but they're starting to get depressed or obsessed with the outcome. Someone knows that you bossed up or you leveled up or you're not phased by something and they're trying, they're just trying to survive right now. Hoping that they can build this bridge with you, build something with you that has been broken or tarnished by their toxic ways. Someone knows they cause something to flatline. Someone knows they put you in a position to protect yourself. Now they're in a position where they regret it. They regret everything because now they're bound and submerged in something that is very low vibrational. As it seems, they know they need to bring in a truth because being distant or avoiding something is just not working out. The time is just not easing the pain. Someone knows they need to show you some appreciation, some gratitude, and I feel you sitting in a space where you're showing that yourself that same love. They feel like you guys have a bond or a connection that supersedes the mess and the chaos that's going on. They're just wanting to know if you feel the same. They know they need you. They just want to know if you need them to because they need your help. Someone needs your help in the worst way. Wow. And they feel like you're the only person that can help them through something. You distract them from their outside troubles, but they also feel like there's too many trust issues. They've caused 
too many conflicts, too many problems, and they may feel like you feel they bring the worst out of you. Or maybe you do feel disconnected with this energy and it's only because they're still in between worlds, still trying to figure something out. And this is why they're hard to read. Hmm. This is someone who is now sitting in a space where they really don't care about entertaining others. They also feel like they're reflecting on the fact that you were right. You were right all along and they should have just listened. Because had they listened, they could have avoided this mess. Now someone is reflecting on the fact that they couldn't give in or they were hard to read or they just couldn't tell the truth. And now they're thinking about their issues and what they put themselves through. I feel it was very hard to acknowledge the truth because this energy is like in a shell. Feeling like they need to protect themselves. But I also feel this is someone who knows they just wasn't honest with you. This energy wasn't honest with you because they were not being honest with themselves. Because they know that they crave your energy. They crave you in the worst way. But they know that you're going to judge them or seek a truth. You're going to make them prove it. And they regret treating you the way they did. Because they now know this wasn't a game. Someone knows that they need to heal. And fight for what they want with you. Put in the real effort. But I also feel they could be sitting in a space where... They are trying to keep themselves busy. Hmm. So it's not that this energy doesn't care about you. This energy needs to learn to care about self, to give in to others. And they're trying to change. But as I said before, they're just in between worlds. But trust me, they no longer feel this is a game. Someone knows this is real life and there is no do-overs. Someone knows that they love you. Someone wants to let you know they're proud of you. And they want to take back the fact that they lost this connection and betrayed you. Someone wants you to be patient with them after knowing that you are completely over it. You're fed up. You're tired of someone frustrating you or burning you out for no reason. Yet this energy is wanting to show you a sense of kindness. And they want to hear from you. This energy wants to hear from you. They feel like they need to reach out, but they also feel they need to focus on what's in front of them. Because things are definitely starting to get intense. And they refuse to lose. Someone doesn't want to see you walk away completely. Someone doesn't want to see you with someone else. Or someone just knows they would rather be with you than without you. Because this situation flatlining was never what they wanted. This energy really believe that you will always be there. This is why they continue to make the choices that they were making, even though that they know nothing was moving. But I feel without the blessing of you, nothing was supposed to move. Hmm. So this energy took a wild guess, a leap of faith. Now they feel like they were persuaded to do the wrong thing. They regret giving, giving in to others or allowing others to put a key in their back. Someone is definitely understanding now that opposites do not attract. And they regret treating you in the way that they did because it was for nothing or nobodies. Someone definitely is learning some very harsh lessons when it comes to loyalty and respect. There's a lot of sorrow here. They feel like they've been sidelined. But I feel it's just the universe giving them their own energy. The universe is definitely giving the energy that was given. And someone is getting a taste of their own medicine. I feel this energy's boundaries are being tested. They're distracted. And they know without a shadow of a doubt, they should have been loyal. And stayed in this commitment. Now someone is needing to shape up reinvent themselves but I feel it's a juggling act that they're not used to they're not able to think bigger in this situation and this is why they feel they need you this energy feels like they need you and they're trying to juggle a lot of things right now but they feel like you're watering your own grass and, and promoting self giving into self as it seems you're the ruler of your own domain 
This is someone who's going through a lot of conflict and challenges that has brought them into rainy days. This is why they're not in a very good headspace. But as I said before, nothing in the dark will ever grow. So this is someone who needs to shape up thinking one size fits all. Someone that's needing to tone something down or even sober up. But I feel in so many ways they could be distracted by a man eater or someone who is very toxic when it comes to having what they want. This is someone who is sitting in fear, feeling like they're desperate because they, they're not ready to strip down. Strip down to nothing to be better than who they presented in life. But I feel this desperation and fear just might lead them in the wrong direction. I feel this fear and desperation just might lead them to lies so that they don't put the final nail in the coffin with you. Yet I sense the final nail in the coffin will be the lies. You won't respect the lies. And even though the truth hurts, there's more respect out of the truth. I know this is someone who regrets wanting the attention because they feel many of these energies were jealous of the connection they had with you. There's some gossip and they know they need to let something go, strip down to be something new. This is someone who is seeing the gossip in a situation or the talk. Someone's really talking a lot of shit and they know now who's the false energy. They regret giving into an illusion where someone was completely plastic. This is someone who was trapped in some illusionary thoughts and now they're very bitter about it. Because this is no fun in games. <sighs> but I feel this is someone who is definitely looking for the exit. Someone is trying to plan an exit strategy. And they're just, they're about to be like, fuck it, I'm out. They're gonna drop everything. And I feel they're going to have to make some really big sacrifices to really strip down to nothing to come back to you. A lot of the things they are holding on to are things they need to let go. And they need to be smarter than who are the people around them and really let go of everything. They can do better, have better with you. But they need to stop the fun and games of being guarded and taking a solo path because it will always lead to their destruction. This is going to be a trade-off. Yep. The sacrifice needs to happen. Someone needs to stop acting like they're unbothered because they're truly affected. Someone needs to reach out to you with intention. And as I said before, this will be a trade-off. Someone's going to have to make some really big sacrifices when it comes to money, stability, and truth. Someone needs to gain their power back intentionally because without it, this energy will always bring the same energy. Whether that is being inconsistent in change, where they give you something and then they become that old person again. Someone needs to start playing the martyr and actually change. I feel there's a lot of plastic people, fake energies around them, but when they hit rock bottom, they will be alone. This is why someone is wanting to escape or let go. They feel like something is just too much. Something is starting to weigh on their spirit as well as their soul. As I said before, this is someone who is receiving the energy where their boundaries are being tested. And I feel that it's the universe tapping them on their shoulder to let them know they need to go the other way. We're going to get a little bit more energy here from this final deck, of course. As I said before, if you enjoy this, let me know, you guys. Let's get some final energy confirmation. Someone is definitely having a light bulb moment. Something has definitely been made clear to their energy, and now they're wanting to bring that same clarity to you. I feel this will be a moment of Zen where someone is definitely speaking the truth. And this time, it's from the heart. Someone wants to let you know that you are a priority. And in the past, that was never the truth. I feel this is someone who gave you breadcrumbs of what they really could do. But I feel in this moment, in this space, someone is wanting to change in the worst way. And they need you just as much. So much so that they could be preparing. Someone's in the energy of preparing for something right now, but things are still moving slowly. But in their heart, they're in the early stage stages of making something new. Someone is in the early stages of coming your way. You hold their heart, but I feel they're dealing with a lot of goals. A lot of things that they need to change. 
yet I also feel in so many ways they're very distracted and possibly dealing with some insecurities because of all of their losses. This energy is preparing to make a new. They're trying to set different goals, separate themselves from people who are damaging their soul and their spirit. But I feel there's a fair failure to lunch within a situation. Something is just not moving for them. There's a lot of mixed signals that someone is really thinking about the future because they don't see a future without you. But I feel they can't really make some choices here. Someone may not even be trusting their choices after what they've destroyed in the past. But the fact that they are thinking about their future and believing that you won't be in it is definitely starting to hit different because they're drowning and they definitely need some help. This is a, a climb that they feel they can't endure alone, yet I feel this is someone who needs to deal with these upheavals and hurdles of life to never want to go through it again. Someone definitely wants to reboot something and pursue something with you because they're completely curious. This energy wants to resurface and put the pieces together. But I feel there will be more to the story than what's on the surface. I feel this energy is paranoid, nervous, and wanting to make an impact so they can gain their position. But I also feel they're going to need some help because this energy is not spiritually equipped to get through this alone. However, I do want to point out that reaching out to this energy before they reach out to you, this might be a mistake. Because the fact that they are pressed and desperate to get in touch with you, that is what's going to lead them to the truth. If you reach out to them, they're going to feel like they don't have to make a real impact. And trust me, they do. Someone's disrespect has definitely gone too far. And in this case, I definitely feel their truth and apology is going to have to speak louder than their disrespect and the chaos they caused. Someone knows that they were being unreasonable. Now they're wanting to move on. Someone knows they need to re relocate from this conspiracy or these people that are plotting, keeping the two of you apart because they're now seeing that someone has an ulterior motive. This is why they feel there's more to the story, not just for you, but for them. They're, they also feel there's a lot of missing pieces that they have yet to connect. They also feel there's a conspiracy. This is keeping them in this paranoid space because they don't know who to trust. But in so many ways, they know deep down they could trust you. This is why they need to relocate to rejuvenate. But I feel they're down in the dumps and not in a good headspace. Someone knows they wouldn't keep it real with you and this is why they switched up and changed on you. For friends or family or for clout or just so they didn't seem weak behind you. But someone doesn't care anymore. Being weak with you is being stronger in life. Because not making things right, they know nothing will change. Something is definitely getting to their spirit and their soul, and I feel they're in the early stages of making an offer, and you should definitely expect the unexpected from someone who is still wanting to build with you. But as I said before, there will be more questions than answers because this energy has yet to figure out why they made these choices or even hurt you. I feel this is someone who definitely wants to test the waters and see how things work out, and they're trying to be inconspicuous or low-key. I feel this energy is really trying to put the pieces together. But they know they can do better with you than without you. Yet, there's a lot of factors to their growth. There's a lot of factors to them reaching out. Someone needs to close one door to open another, but someone is coming out as Mr. Krabs. Someone is hard on the outside, but soft on the inside. And this is what you bring out of them. You bring not only the softer side of them out, you're going to bring out the truth. Finally. This is going to be a slow progress because things are definitely moving like molasses but this energy is going to find the, the strength to reach out someone's going to find the strength to take a gamble and just take a risk towards you because what they perceive as a risk will only be a true reward i feel coming back your way is the only way to find a light finding the light is where they would grow but they have to detach themselves from these false energies or conspiracy. Not everyone wants them to win. Yet someone knows that you are ride or die, a true friend, a true connection. And the door is always open for you. 
hope you guys have enjoyed the reading and